So welcome back to my channel. So today I've come up with a new topic on Prisma model for systematic review. So last video was on how to make a review article. So I've given some details on how to write a review paper. What are the tips, tricks that you need to use to write a review article. So you can watch that for more details. So today I have come up with a topic which is related to systematic review. So if you're writing a systematic review, they expect a Prisma model, which gives the detail about what are the papers involved what papers, what was the criteria for selection and so on. So let me give you some details about Prisma model for systematic review. So coming to Prisma, this was initiated or started in 2009, but later they developed or they edited this, they made it more uh, uh, suitable, they uh, made a template. So that happened in 2020 and now they have a software also which can be used for creation of this Prisma model, which can be used for your uh, systematic review papers. So Prisma is nothing but preferred reporting items for systematic reviews and meta-analysis. So this is the full form of it and definitely this will help in providing transparency for scientific merit. So it gives you a detail about what sources you have used for your review article. Okay, so maybe you are using Scopus database or some other database. So which database you have used, how many papers you have identified how many papers you have screened from that okay so certain times you will take from database certain times you will take from other sources so in case you have taken from other sources you may have to remove the duplicates so all that can be removed here and then finally you can screen how many papers you want and you can exclude the papers which are not relevant and the eligible papers will go to the next cycle and finally how many papers you have included in the study and giving reasons also like why didn't you select the other papers the valid reasons maybe it was not specific to your study it didn't give a suitable results so some kind of reasons also will be uh, spelled out in this prisma model so this gives you a clear idea about what is the review article all about how many papers you have involved and this gives a clear idea for the editor also to have a view so the, uh, basically it summarizes the entire screening process because for review articles we know you we use a lot of uh, papers for reference so it visualizes all this in a single diagram. We all know that seeing is believing. So instead of writing paragraphs and paragraphs, one Prisma model will give you a detailed understanding how many papers have been involved in this particular review article. So it will give a transparency for your work. So coming to uh, Prisma 2020, okay, this is the template how it looks like. So this can be developed using the software. So I'll show you that later. So this is uh, basically the ones which are in grey, okay, like previous studies, uh, identification of new studies, so records, reports, so these part, these may or may not be included. So it is not compulsory. So in case you have not included something from the previous studies of yours itself, then you cannot, need not add this part of it, okay. So it is just like a data entry job. You need to just uh, enter the data in that particular software and the Software will directly give you the Prisma model which can be downloaded as a image and can be used for your review article. But this part, okay, the one which is in blue, this is very, very important. Okay, so here you can see records identified from databases. So maybe I've used a Scopus database. So how many databases I've used? Maybe I've used Web of Science. So if I've used only Scopus, my N number will be 1. Okay, similarly, if I've used some registers for collecting data, I can include that also. Okay, so here you can see duplication removal. Okay, so maybe from other sources also you have downloaded and then you feel that some of these are duplicated, like they are Scopus index also. So you can uh, remove these duplicates, so those details has to come here, how many duplicates you have removed and all that. So once you do that, you will get the records which are screened. From there again, for some reason you might have excluded some reports and finally as you screen, the reasons also has to be justified like why you have excluded those reports and finally some new reports which you have included in the study and uh, maybe some other studies which you have involved. So in this way uh, entire Prisma model can be developed and we have a software for that. I will show you that in some time. So basically you need to use Google and you need to type Prisma uh, systematic review and you have to select some options. I will show you that and once you do that you can select the online tool and create your own flow diagram. So let me show you with an example how to do it. So first of all, you need Google and once you have Google, you can type Prisma systematic review. So once you click on that, it goes to the link. Okay, and here now Prisma statement, we have to click on Prisma statement and then we have to click on flow diagrams. 
okay i want to create a flow diagram now so i will click on flow diagram okay and now can you see here flow diagram can be generated using the shiny app and here it is a citation is given here if you want to use this please cite this in your review article and finally your citation is here you can click here and uh, copy paste the citation but now i will just show you how to use this okay so if you can check here there is a link follow this link to access the online tool so i will click the link okay so now i can use this so you can see here plisma for a flow diagram you have the template also in case you want to download the template but i will create a flow diagram okay create a flow diagram so now i told you as i told you see everything is here i have to just put the data that i want okay so previous studies i told you that is not important may not if you have not included in the previous studies not included others researches from the studies not included individual databases included individual registries maybe i have not included any registries not included okay i can reset it so once i reset it it will include only what things i have included so remaining can you see that gray things and all are removed now so this is the identification part of the prisma diagram okay now databases maybe i have taken only one database that is scopus okay and registers are zero so i have to give the details of that database so remaining database i can remove and database 1 i can tell that i have uh, taken 500 uh, reports from that okay ns 500 or something like that okay so in this way you can select uh, the number of databases for you and uh, registers i'll make it zero i have not included any registers so database is one and uh, maybe duplicates i'm removing no i'm not removing anything and nothing is duplicated because i've used only one scopus database so databases are one in that one database that is i've taken 500 reports from that registers have not taken anything and duplicates are not there so i've not removed it so now screening from the screening maybe i will take all the 500 all the 500 papers i have taken and maybe i'm ex excluding some 200 papers for some valid reasons okay so you can see here it's changing can you see here screen 500 excluded 200 okay so retrieve now 500 minus 200 will be 300 so this will be 300 and not retrieved will be how many 50 right so from this again i can again after screening this basically so i have excluded 200 i've got some 300 again some reasons are there for excluding i'm excluding that so report assessed will be 250 okay so now i have to give the reasons for excluding so maybe uh, reason one is uh, no valid results okay it depends on you what uh, results are there okay so maybe there i'm excluding some 25 and the second reason may be not relevant okay so there i am excluding some 25 so i am happy with two reasons okay so i will just stop there so can you see here no valid results no relevance okay not relevant okay so now 250 minus 50 is 200 so now included papers will be 200 and new reports are zero so now my prisma model is ready can you see here this is the entire prisma model which i have developed using the software so now initial identification i took only one scopus database in which i have taken 500 papers i have not taken any registers and there are no duplicates because i have not used multiple uh, databases so all this will become zero for me so all the 500 papers i have screened for the screening process and there i've excluded some 200 because it is not relevant to what i am writing so my review article would be specific to something right so some things will be general so i don't want those papers so i would have excluded those papers so these are those 200 excluded so 300 will be selected for the next screening so from there again i would have uh, told that these 50 papers are not relevant so there are some 50 i have removed so 250 350 minus 50 I mean, three hundred minus fifty two fifty. So again, I have excluded some twenty five and twenty five for some reasons here that is not valid results and not relevant. So finally, I get some two hundred 
review papers so these papers have used for my review article <coughs> excuse me so this is the entire diagram now with the identification screening and included so this diagram is very very useful when you are writing any systematic review you can include this diagram so see now you can download it as png pdf so many templates are there so i will download it as png okay so they are telling you to cite okay okay you can cite it later so now prisma diagram it is downloaded already let me just open and show it to you it's there in the downloads one sec prisma 4 can you see here so this is the diagram which i have drawn now so now you can copy this and paste this to your review article and use it wherever you are trying to publish okay so in this way within few clicks of the button you can do a systematic review uh, prisma model for your paper so please use this uh, trick please use this uh, software but don't forget to cite them okay please cite them so that uh, the cred author gets the credit okay for doing this wonderful software for us so coming back so we have seen today how easily we can do a prisma model for a systematic review so this will increase the trustworthiness and applicability for all your review articles so it will give more clarity transparency and accuracy for your systematic review and definitely it will help in decision making so this is the uh, reference which i have used okay so thank you for watching thank you for supporting me till date if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel please like my videos and please share this videos for all the research uh, friends and uh, colleagues you know who are interested in doing systematic reviews or are interested in uh, writing research articles so this will be some uh, of definitely some help to them thank you for your support till date have a nice day